Hey everybody. I shot a video about my angelfish tank yesterday and in it I showed the amount of nitrates that were in the tank and they were admittedly a little bit higher than I'd like them but one of the comments I got just made me scratch my head and I see this type of comment fairly regularly so I want to address it and someone told me that because my nitrates were so high I needed more biological filtration in the tank that the tank was under filtered and that's why my nitrate levels were so high and that is it's just completely a misunderstanding of how the nitrogen cycle works. That's got nothing to do with me having too little biological filtration. That simply means I don't do water changes frequently enough and that's really as simple as it is. So I thought of a really simple analogy that would explain this. If we think about our nitrogen cycle or our biological filtration as a paper shredder and then we think about the paper going in the top as the ammonia and we think about the shredded paper coming out the bottom as the nitrates. We're going to skip over the nitrites altogether in this particular analogy, just for simplicity's sake. So you got your ammonia going in the top. It goes through the biological filtration, and it comes out the bottom as nitrates. So in this particular analogy, my tank has high nitrate levels. What that means is the basket below the paper shredder is full of shredded paper. That's a lot of nitrates have built up in the basket below the shredder. So by saying I need a bigger shredder doesn't make any sense. I need to empty the basket more frequently. That's why the basket is so full of shredded paper. It's because I'm not emptying the basket when I need to. Getting a bigger shredder is not going to reduce the amount of paper that comes out the bottom. The only time you would need to get a bigger shredder in other words, get more biological filtration, is if the amount of paper you're putting in the top of it isn't, you know, that the shredder itself isn't capable of handling how much paper you're shoving through there. You're trying to shove whole newspapers through a little desktop paper shredder. That's not going to work. That's when you need a bigger shredder. So if you've got a little tiny bit of biological filtration and you've got a hugely overstocked tank, what you're going to see is a buildup of ammonia that's what indicates you need more biological filtration. It's backing up on the front end. It's not going through the filtration process fast enough to produce the end result, which is the nitrates, or in this analogy, be all the shredded paper in the basket below. That's your goal. You want all that paper to get shredded, and you don't want any backing up. As, as soon as new paper comes in, it should just go right in that shredder, right through it, and it should end up as paper shreds in the bottom. The paper shreds are what you then need to take out and take to the trash and keep your basket empty, and that would be the equivalent of keeping your nitrates low. But if you've got elevated nitrates in your tank, putting more biological filtration in there is going to accomplish absolutely nothing at all. The only reason you would add more biological filtration is if you're getting a buildup of nitrites or ammonia. If you're getting a lot of nitrates, that simply means your biological filtration is working properly. You shouldn't be getting any visible or detectable ammonia, and you shouldn't be getting any visible nitrites, but you should see the nitrates left over. That's the waste product at the end that we have to take out of the tank by doing water changes. There are other ways you can do it um, through different types of biological filtration. There's actually an, um, uh, what is it? it's denitrifying bacteria that is anaerobic, and it's a whole different process and it's again it's not even something I'm going to get into discussing because it's a lot different than what we're talking about which is simple aquarium maintenance and a simple biological filtration system again if you're getting a lot of nitrates built up that does not mean you need more biological filtration it means you either need to reduce your stock feed less or do water changes more frequently it's going to be one of those three things will reduce your nitrates if you're getting ammonia building up then and only then do you need more biological filtration so that's my two cents. If anybody else has anything they'd like to add, I'd like to hear your opinion or your comments down below. Thanks for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you real soon in the next one.